So I'm actually filming this directly after my previous upload. Bro, not, ooh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Oh my word. Declutter. Thank you, Shannon. I don't know what is wrong here. Um, yeah, I just did my neutral palettes, which is the straw here. Love the way the straw came out. So satisfying. I got rid of an entire huge tub worth of makeup. So if you missed that declutter, make sure you watch that one before this video, or you can watch it at the end, I guess, next if you want. I'll link it below. But anyways, today we are doing this one. We also have some more palettes on the ground right here. These are all colorful palettes. So yeah, I like to separate my palettes by neutrals and wearable tones versus like brights and colors just so that, you know, when I'm looking for something in particular, it's a little bit easier. So I'm going to try and get rid of a lot of these. Like my last one, like a lot of these palettes will be discontinued. A lot of them are very old. There's a lot that are kind of similar. So we are going to go through all of these and just pick some favorites and make some room and make it all nice and tidy so that it's like the other drawer. We can flick through them. I'm going to take out every single palette and we'll filter them back in and I'll just show you what I mean by like, you know, setting them up all nice. We'll set them up all nice together. Oh, I also have like the James Charles palette, which I don't even know if like this is going to fit in this drawer, but there's that too. Um, so let's just, yeah, empty these drawers. Let's put them back together. I'm so excited for this. I've honestly been looking forward to doing these videos for ages. And if you haven't seen my previous declutter, I'm sorry about my nails. It's a long story and I can't find nail polish remover. Okay. Like just... Please, please try to. I almost feel like I should wear like friggin' winter gloves <laughs> to cover my hands right now. That's how like embarrassed I am, which is sad. Anyways, I'm gonna take all of these out. So we'll do some fast forward. Enjoy the sounds. <laughs> Oh my gosh, today I worked out arms and shoulders at the gym and it even hurts to wipe down surfaces. Like, I'm so numb. Oh my gosh, I'm such a little weak. Okay, so I'm gonna start once again with bigger palettes at the back and then move my way forward. We'll probably do a quick rearrange at the very end once we have exactly what we wanna keep like laid out in front of us. Um, So, I mean, obviously this is probably gonna go at the back. I showed this in the last video, but I'll show you guys again. So this is the Love Create and Express Yourself Eyeshadow Collection by Chi Chi. And there's so many fun bright colors, cool reds, blues, purples, um, and then like wearable tones as well. So just a really good like versatile palette to keep in my collection and very affordable as well. Very accessible for New Zealand and Australians. <laughs> this is the issue I get myself into. Why did the other one fit? Like that one back there fit, is it? Sam, why? Maybe it needs to be on. What? Why is, does this one not fit, but the other one does? Like, look, this one back here, I mean, can't even see. But I have this one in the back. They're the exact same size palettes. What is the sorcery? I feel like the little gap's a little larger, so it like slides better. Am I gonna have to like remove some of these? I don't understand. This is a bit interesting. So it doesn't fit. I don't know what we're gonna do there. But let's just continue. And hopefully I can figure something out. Oh my God, that's so annoying. Okay, fun. Well, I know some palettes we're definitely gonna be keeping and it is the Norvina palette. Let me show you quickly, just so that this video isn't only decluttering. Like I wanna show you my collection as well as we go. So this one here, look how beautiful she is. I think this is number four. Yeah, Norvina palette volume four. Let me show you all of them. Just in case you're curious, we have two. So let's put them all so two is there, four is there. This is number one, which is purples and yellows and stuff. You can see all of these are very bright. And I just love them because I've got like every color I could need. Well, not quite, but like almost. Well, now I'm confused because I definitely have it and it's gone and disappeared. I'm just opening up this drawer I have. Maybe it's in here for some reason. Okay, that's spooky. Well, hopefully I'm just being an idiot and not looking properly. We will put it in when I find it. I'm sure it's up here somewhere. Like I used it the other day. What the heck? Is this gonna fit? The James Charles pillow? Oh my god. They fit like this way. I don't understand the logic. Okay. So that one fits if we put him forward more, which is annoying because it's such a 
big huge black you know I'd rather put that at the back because it's easy to see I feel like everything we put behind it is gonna get hidden look at that do you see what I mean like it's just invasive I'm gonna just put it away for now I guess these we will just I'm gonna put this right at the front because it's my favorite looking I'm gonna put this for now and then hopefully we can find the other one which I'm Pretty sure has bright orange packaging. Honestly, I'm so like spooked. I don't know where it's gone. Is it up here? Did I for some reason put it in here? No. I'm honestly like so concerned that I've like accidentally thrown it away somehow or something, but like sure not. Maybe one of my friends used it and they've just like put it somewhere random. I don't know, but now that's annoying because they don't fiddle nice next to each other anymore. Anyway, moving right along, we have the Drawbreaker palette. This I had a few issues with some of the colors when I was using it in my Drawbreaker tutorial which I will link below. Once again like all of these palettes that I'm showing you today unless it's one I haven't really tried like most of them I've used in videos so you can search like Shanexo Drawbreaker palette for example on YouTube or Google and it should come up with a tutorial so feel free to do that with like most of these palettes and I'll also link a bunch for you down below if you want to go on a little binge session and watch some older videos and some of them are new, some of them are old, some of them will be ancient. But yeah if you feel like watching some more of my videos after this feel free to check the down bar. But I might still keep this and just play with it some more. Let me pull all of my ABH palettes so we can go through all of these. You guys know how much I absolutely love Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. So let's have a look. Hold on, I think there's actually a couple more like old ones too. Okay, I think that's most of them. So first off, I just have to do a little honorable mention, the Amrezy original palette. Now I've got the new one right there. This is like ancient. I don't know when this came out. Like does it say on here like what year or anything? No, I don't think so. But this, honestly I've had for ages and this was my holy grail palette. I used to travel with it. I'd use it every day. Like that Morocco color, the caramel color, like just I was obsessed. But there is the new one now. So like there are similar colors but also better colors as well like those shimmers and stuff I love this palette I have done a tutorial using it and I'm obsessed with the makeup look I created with this it was so fun so you know we'll keep that one I'm just gonna pop that there like that and it's time for this to be binned because it is that old that old and you know ever since I did my full face of my oldest makeup video I'm a little bit traumatized of some of my old eyeshadow palettes like this one because I got a full blowing rash on my eyes so this is going in the rubbish okay I'm not putting anyone through that I loved this palette and it's time you guys know that loved it used it heaps it was like one of the first like super colorful palettes that came on the market from a mainstream brand that electric palette and loved it in its moment there is a new one if I show you it's this one here the wired palette by Urban Decay this is kind of like I guess the new replacement of it that's a lot more recent it came out maybe a few months ago I'm not too sure but that's what it looks like so I do want to do a look using this it's sitting in my um you know new drawer so I can try it in a look let me know if you guys are keen for that and let me know which colors like what kind of colors from this palette should I use I don't know but yeah so that palette if I like it will draw I mean draw what join this drawer all right we also have the artist palette which looks like this I might get rid of that one because I think I like these colors more you can see there's some really fun like hot pink, purple, like peachy colors, yellowy gold mustards, really fun aqua, immuta blue, like real nice. So we've got that, we've got the Alyssa Edwards palette here, which I think I'm gonna declutter. I just feel like I'm gonna have other palettes I like more. And we've got the Norvina palette, which is actually quite neutral. Do I put this like up here? I don't have any room though. But yeah, I do like the Norvina palette. I think I'll keep that. And I need to make room for my Nude one. Mm. Alright, I'm just moving some things around from this top drawer to make room for that Norvina palette because I do think that the Norvina palette just belongs in my more neutral drawer because look, those colours are not like super bright. There's some soft colourful tones but it's very wearable. Alright, so we've got these two. Oh my god, look how pretty this drawer is. I can't get over it. So I'm going to put these two next to Wait, that one didn't fit, did it? That got knocked over. No. This is longer than normal so... I'll have to put that like there at the front somewhere. Why are these dividers so small? I don't remember. I must have had like small palettes. I have the Chi Chi Pride palette, which maybe I just keep this one instead of that giant one because this one should theoretically fit that here. 
There we go. Yay! A solution. So yeah, this is the Pride palette by Chi Chi. I love it. It is so good and it is so bright. So yeah, it's kind of like a good alternative to the James Charles palette, I guess. So, like there's a lot of similar colors in that. It's not like perfect dupes, but it is an alternative once again. <sighs> and then it can actually fit in my collection. I don't know, I get so pissed off when like a palette is too large, do you know what I mean? Like it's good because it's like value for money, but also like come on, like where am I going to put that? Let me go through my Natasha Denona palettes, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. I have quite a few. Let's begin. We've got the Love palette, which I definitely want to keep and use some more. This is so pretty, like pinky tones, very wearable with a couple of like bold colours in here. Let me show you up close because it deserves it. Look at that. Like how beautiful are those colours? I think it's so nice. Very romantic. Alright, we've got two of these ones. So we have the... How do I tell these apart? I can't remember. This one's like bluey tones. Which I love this, but I'm also kind of thinking that I prefer more diverse palettes these days. Like I loved this when it came out. But I do prefer her newer palette selections because there's yeah just a little bit more diversity in the actual shades, if that makes sense. I'll show you. So I might declutter those ones. And if I show you like the Tropic palette, you'll kind of see what I mean. You can see here, like obviously you've got neutrals, but some color tones and the shades are just a little bit more diverse. And that I think is some kind of lash glue, which I love how I do that to myself. I need to wipe that off. That's not coming off easily. Okay, good, handy. Oh my God, come on. <sighs> Why do I do this? It's not a Shannon video until Zeus starts barking at somebody on my street, I swear. Alright, I mean, I could probably do that a bit better, but hey. So, I'm keeping the Tropic palette. I'm a huge fan of that colour scheme as well. We've also got the Lila palette, which I love. You've got some neutrals and some really beautiful purple shimmery tones. Like, look how stunning these kind of colours are. Like, that's so wearable. It's like a purple taupe. You've got like your raspberry kind of shimmery color but then you've got like the brighter tones as well and the pigments insane and also like these kind of colors like the coppers <sighs> so i'm gonna keep that one for now i have actually used that quite a few times so i don't reach for it a lot so like part of me is like oh you should declutter it shannon but that's just me being like extremely cut through it right now so i need to just like tone it back a touch a touch a tiny bit we'll see we'll see how much space we have and then this is new too so like i kind of favor the newer palettes just because i know they're the ones that are easily available for you guys like this one i'm pretty sure you can still get the safari palette it's actually very wearable it's like matte but i just love the colors it's like very wearable colors once again like those top greens and blues like are you joking i need to do more looks with this i really do i don't actually know if i've done a proper tutorial using this yet or if i've just swatched it but like how cool would a like all matte like green look look like so cool so keep that one i've got this 28 color foil eyeshadow palette by bh which i'm going to declutter i don't reach for it and i don't know what it is about it it's just not appealing to me really i've got the conspiracy palette which i'm thinking I'll probably give to my friend because she missed out on it and I've already done a tutorial using this I love the colors especially like the top eight there like that whole top row is so dope it's really pretty but the packaging I mean I can appreciate it because it's something really unique and really special it would look good on like a countertop or something but for me like I just want it in my drawer and it's just like bulk city and yeah all right we've got this cryolin palette which i always keep because i'm like oh it's pretty but i never use it so it's time to declutter it i also have the androgyny palette and i had this in my other drawer originally and i was kind of like oh should i keep it some really nice like matte like deep colors in here like some nice shimmers like i'll keep it for now i might declutter that like i'm not too sure i've got this makeup forever palette which I'm going to declutter once again these colors like kind of like the Natasha Denona one I'm kind of like oh it all kind of merges into one but not in the way I would like I don't mind that with like a neutral palette where like all of the colors just work together perfectly but in colorful palettes like I do prefer a little bit more randomness almost or like if it's neutral and colorful that's okay but if it's like all I don't know how to describe it just to me like the way it looks when I just glance at it I'm just kind of like bored do you know what I mean? I don't know. I guess it's just unique to each palette and some people could have a complete different opinion to me. 
But for me, that one, I'm just like bored. Don't know. This one, Mercury Retrograde. Um, let me check it's still in stock. I do want to keep it if it is still available. All right, I'm back. Yes, we do still have that as a palette. 67 US dollars. It's pretty pricey, but stunning colors. And I've only used it a couple of times. And I think I only used like one or two shades. So I want to experiment with that one for more. a little bit. Some more for sure. Why did I struggle with that for some more for sure? Some more for sure. Anyway, we've also got the remastered rose gold palette, which I feel like should also be in the drawer above, but it's not. So I guess we'll just pop that with the other Huda Beauty palette. Um, I might have to, like, I'm kind of tempted just to put all of my Huda Beauty ones together, but let's just see. This drawer's getting so full already. Oh my god, Shannon. Anyway, okay. We've got this Juvia's Place palette with some really fun shades. This bottom two rows are pretty much neutrals, which are great for medium and deeper skin tones. Or if you're like me, you can still use them and create like depth and dimension and smokiness, smoldery looks. You might want to use like a lighter color from a different palette to transition like such pretty colors. And the reason I purchased this was those top colors, really beautiful jewel tones. I'm going to keep it because I don't really think I've used that one yet. I'm just looking at the little bit prints. BH Cosmetics palette. I love this. I'm just checking it's still available. Yes, it is. Go check it out, guys. Huge fan of this palette. So once again, what you've got is that row of soft neutrals, also bright colors that'll work for like anybody. So I'm a huge fan of that really fun combination. So that can stay. Next up, what do we have? We've got this Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I don't know if this is still available. I'm just gonna check. I don't even know, like, do I want this? It's on Mecca. It's on Urban Decay, so it must still be available. So this one looks like this on the inside. Really pretty. This is more like neutrals with a touch of color. And you know what? I might declutter it just because I feel like I've already kept so many neutral eyeshadows, first of all. And then the colors in here, I feel like we've just seen all of them in some of these other palettes that we've um, kept already in this drawer. Like the Jewel Tones from Juvia's or some of those Natasha Denona palettes have colors very similar. Stunning palette. Love, love, love the quality of Vermin Decay, but we just don't need it, you know? Sweet Talk palette. This is like another one that's kind of like neutral. It's like peachier. Beautiful shades. Beautiful, but you know what? Like we just do not need it at this point at all. Summer in Saint Tropez. This is BH Cosmetics as well. The colors are so cool. Like so cool. Do I want to like do another look with them? Kind of. Let's keep it for now. We've also got this, which I want to keep, the Kylie Jenner. Don't even know what this is. I feel like it might have been her birthday or Valentine's Day or something. It's just such a cool palette. I think I did. Did I do a Valentine's Day look with this? I don't know. I feel like this is more one I just want to keep because I like the way it looks. And I'll probably use this in my own everyday life. I'm not sure if it's still available, but you can check out KylieCosmetics.com and see if it's still on there. Who knows? But yeah, the colors are stunning and I recommend it just because like, the soft glam looks that are available in this like are to die for. We've got the Source Box palette here. This is like really romantic pinky and red shades. Okay, low-key, I love it, but I never, I don't know. Do these have labels on them? I'm almost tempted to take them out and like pop them into a Z palette. Damn it, they don't. I wish they had like, you know, a label from Source Box underneath so that I could identify them if I took them out of the palette, but they've just got like numbers printed on them. So with that, and I've also got this Temptation one. All these really cool, um, bright colors, which are low-key dope. I just don't know. Let me just see what else we have. We've got a Morphe palette, which I'll probably declutter. Yeah, once again, like, I love a neutral palette, but, like, to me, those all just blend together. Like, I get bored looking at it, whereas, like, if you take a neutral palette, like, like, I'm just going to grab a couple of examples. Like, if you grab this, like... I feel like there's more diversity in the colors or this like there's just those different tones and undertones and it's more interesting whereas this one like it might just be me I don't know but I just I don't find it inspiring to look at like neutral palettes can be so fun and I feel like it's like me I just don't think I'll reach for it ever like the only Morphe palette that I really do reach for quite a bit is the James Charles one because it's got a lot of variation and fun colors and things. But once again, that's just me. Everyone's different. I know some people love all the Morphe palettes. There's also this one, the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2, which looks like this. Some really fun colors. That whole top two rows are like very wearable. And then you've got like deep reds. You've got bright pinks and purples, which are really fun as well. Like, do I... 
key things. Like I did like it when I used it. Oh, I've got so many other palettes too that are real bright that are, you know, I've got in my brand new drawer that I need to use in videos. <sighs> so I'm trying to be mindful of like what to keep. If this fits without crashing, yep, it does. All right, I'll keep it then. Done deal. That can stay at the back there. I feel like I'll probably like forget about it at the back there, but it fits nicely. This one is no questions asked, like definitely keeping this. I mentioned this in my what makeup I would keep if I wasn't a beauty guru and there we go. Okay, I've also got this Kylie. I think this is the Halloween palette, which I did a really fun Halloween look with, um, I think last year perhaps. But yeah, like I don't think you can get any more, so I will give that to a friend. Oh, I really liked this. This bright palette. Well, it's not really bright. It's like wearable tones. It's a dual tone palette by Rimmel. And yeah, the colors are actually so stunning and really easy to work with. I think I might keep that. And then we've also got this Jaclyn Hill. I bought this in LA, but I might get rid of it. I don't know. I've already kept the Androgyny palette, which has some of those similar colors. I've kept the Natasha Denona Safari palette. You know, this had those similar tones. So I don't think I need that one. I'm going to get rid of the Makeup Store 12 shade palette. I always keep this. I'm like, oh, I'll use it. And I never do. Like in the last couple of declutters, I've always been like, no, it's so pretty. I need, no. Shannon, you're not going to use it. Get over it. We've also got the OMFG 2 Shocking at Brights eyeshadow palette. Let me just compare that to the Pride because if the colors are the same or similar, like, you know, there's not a lot of point. Yeah. I mean, there's some different ones. Like this dark blue is different. The purple's different. The pinks are different. Like there's some different corals. The yellow is quite similar. Like, mm, yeah, I think it's... I mean, there's like a few unique colors, but I'll give that to a friend and I'll keep this one because it's fun and it fits nicely in here. Okay, I've got two little mini Nabla palettes, which I've already showed you guys. I'm keeping these. So Wildberry, like it's very wearable, but it's still a little bit of color. Do you know what I mean? And I don't know. I just love the way these colors look together. And I just love the colors I've chosen for these palettes. Like they're quite creative. Like I wouldn't have naturally been drawn to that combination of colors, but because it's in the palette, like it would lead me to try that, you know? And this one too, this bright coral. Obviously this is quite a neutral palette, but because of that real bright coral, I wanted to put it in this drawer just so that if I grabbed it, you know, I'd be inspired to really use that to create like a cool pop of color. It would look dope like all over the lid or in the crease with the gold or like, you know, just, so many possibilities with such a small palette like I love that oh another Smashbox one I talked about these in my last unboxing um these were around a few years ago they had a ton of different little like combinations the Smashbox like mini I can't remember what they're called mine don't have labels because I got these in press but yeah these were dope and I still love them but I mean they're very old so <laughs> it's time to say goodbye and I'm pretty sure they're discontinued I've got my like throwback Simpsons like throwback I want to keep this just because it's kind of like a collector's item for me. I've already got rid of most of my things I got from MAC, like the Simpsons collection stuff. But um, I do want to keep that one just because it's really fun. And I've got a few Colourpop palettes. I've actually got more that I haven't used yet in my brand new drawer that I was talking about before. But these are the ones that I have so far tried, I'm pretty sure. So we've got the purples. We've got the pink. Oh, one of them's missing. One of them fell apart. But still, real fun pinks. Like, these top two are very wearable. These three are very, very, very bright. And then you can create depth at the bottom there. Um, and then I've also got the Blue Moon, which, needless to say, is blue. I might get rid of the blue one. I just feel like if I was going to go for these, like, I'd reach for these two. The blue, like, I've already got other blue eyeshadows and there's just too much blue for me. Whereas pink and purple, I can't get enough of, so... <laughs> It's just the way I'm thinking. And then the rest are all these like mini Huda Beauty little um palettes. You can kind of see them over in the corner here. But um we've got some of the pastels ones, then we've got some of the neon ones, and then some of the gemstone ones. So I already got rid of topaz in my last unbox. I mean, oh my god, why do I keep saying unboxing? My last declutter. And I think I do have a few more in this drawer up here. I'm just gonna check. Oh my god, look! Oh my god. Look, look what it is. There it is! I found it! The other Novena palette. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to grab out some palettes that are brand new, but you know what? I'm going to put them away because there's other ones that are brand new, like the Carnival Be Perfect, like the Wired. 
that I do want to use in some upcoming makeup tutorials. The rest I'll put away now and I'll just use them when I find them. Like I also want to use this. The Lady Gaga like brand new House Labs palette. So cool. I've also got this Uoma one. So nice. Yeah, heaps of fun palettes in here. Fuck, I can't wait to play with makeup right now. Like looking at what I've got here. Even this, like this isn't really colourful, but this BH Cosmetics palette, this is the Fairy Lights palette. Look at the soft glam opportunities in this. Like it's so pretty. And like these random blues, like how cool would they look paired up with that? Um, I'm excited. I've also got like the brand new palette. Well, it's not brand new, but it's brand new to me. The Pillow Talk eye palette by Charlotte Tilbury. And like new colour pop. So many new things. Oh my gosh. See, this is why I struggle to create like content. Like, I don't struggle for options, I struggle with too many options. I'm like, oh my god, I don't know what to use first. <laughs> and then my drawers get insanely cluttered because I just have a million different things. I love that for me. Anyway, so, let's have a quick look. Obviously, we are keeping the Norvina. So this is number three. I wish I could show you in comparison, but green, orange kind of vibes for this one. Very cool, love those. And then, oh, that's not gonna fit there, okay, that's fine. Like I said, we'll, that's not gonna fit there, but we will go through and reorganize these drawers soon. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna keep the purple and pink, and then we've also got this orangey glad, which is oranges, which I do want to try. And I also have Aha uh -huh Honey, and I'm gonna be doing a Colourpop one brand tutorial using obviously Colourpop so I might use some of these, I might not. I've got a few different eyeshadow palettes I love from Colourpop. This one I might get rid of just because like the neutrals I've definitely already got covered and the others are just kind of gold and yellow like I've definitely got all of those shades already. I've probably got all of these ones too but I don't know these palettes like they just look more cohesive to me. I don't know what it is like I just love the way they look. So yeah those are my favorite three Colourpop, like one colour palettes. Alright, next I've got the Light Nude Obsessions palette by Huda. So this obviously will go in the drawer above. Um, but just so you guys can see, look, it's got a like fun purple in it too though. And, like these really pretty neutrals. Like I love the way this looks. This is definitely something that I would travel with because it's got my like darker colour for smoking. It's got like a couple of transition shades, shimmer shades. You could create a really natural soft glam or you could do something real sultry and pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that. That's in the light shade. I believe there's also medium and dark for different skin tones, but I just kept that one. And then in terms of the pastels, we have lilac and rose. So let's just open up rose and I'll just see if this is something I wanna keep or if I wanna give it away. So it looks like this. Like I'll probably just give that away. Like it's similar to I guess the Mercury Retrograde or the, like the nude palette. Like I don't know. It's not really anything that different for me to want to really keep it. If you know what I'm saying. I'll probably pop that in a giveaway. Um, the lilac one I have already used. It looks like this. But you know what? I might actually declutter it. It's really pretty but I mean it gives me vibes of this. Do you know what I mean? And other colours I already have. So I'll give it to a friend because I've already used that one. I used that with my pink hair transformation video, I believe. Then we have these neon ones. So we've got this neon green one, which is really fun. Lots of shimmers, a lime. I'm probably going to declutter that just because most of the colours are actually very like similar to other ones I've got. This one is a little bit more extreme. It reminds me of like the um, Norvina palettes, honestly. So, I mean, I really like the way it looks. I might keep it. I love the way this one looks. This is my favorite because um, it's got those really hot pink, like bright purple, like neon candy colored corals, like just real fun. And then the other three, we've got Ruby Obsessions, which I will declutter. Those colors don't really draw my attention that much at the moment. We've got Emerald, which I might declutter. I just feel like, yeah. I've got all of those kinds of colors, so we'll get rid of those. This, literally, oh, looking at this gives me some kind of feeling. Oh, and I've got one other Simpsons palette. There it is. I, I was wondering where this one went. I was like, oh my god, this one's so cool, like the pinky purple. So I'll keep it just for nostalgia, but it's not really something I'll use on my YouTube channel because you guys can't get it. So now I'm just going to fast forward quickly while I organize how this is all going to look. And I'll show you the final finished product. Do you like my iced coffee in my Fat Tuesday cup? 
Can't wait to go back to Vegas just so I can get another one of these cups because I broke mine. Well, actually Hamish did, but let's not go there. Have you guys ever tried a Fat Tuesday? They're like those alcoholic slushies. And honestly, I feel like they put like friggin drugs in there or something. Like they actually don't, but like <laughs> the amount of, how do I say this? I was so addicted to them. Obviously it's probably the sugar, but every morning me and my friends woke up, we were like, all right, time for our Fat Chewy. Cause we were doing like music festivals. So we were drinking like every day every day and uh yeah when we woke up with a hangover all we wanted was a fat tuesday because it was cold it was sugary it was sweet it had alcohol in it it was like the perfect solution oh my god they cannot be good for you okay anyway let me do this You know what? I'm gonna get rid of the rose gold remastered. I don't know. I just feel like it's so neutral and I've got a lot. I'm gonna declutter my sauce box. Their low key fits perfectly, but now the moment of truth. Will it shut? Oh, okay, it does. The Riviera palette does get a little bit caught. Can I swap it around? For some reason, like, I guess the different depths of the um, slots, like, products do fit better and worse in certain areas. It works, I guess. Like, it fits ish. Alright, which colorful palette has the best packaging do you think i'm a huge fan of the mitchell one just because it's quite unique and the way that the mirror comes out is quite cool it's just like super trippy to look at and i like the glossy finish the amrezy is like quite simply amazing i'm obsessed with glitter i love the um the shiny like leather kind of natasha denona these are so cool too it's like 90s inspired kind of packaging. I can't choose. Really fun and this palette is just so pretty to look at as well. <laughs> I love the way that it looks. That is everything. Um, now we just have to, oh my God, I'm so glad that all fits. We just have to pop away the nude, which we'll just pop with these little Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. And we are done. Oh my goodness. I got rid of so many palettes. Maybe I just declutter my James Charles and my Chi Chi big one. Like, I kept the Chi Chi Pride palette, so I don't really need this Freedom palette, even though it's so dope. And the James Charles, like, I mean, the Pride one's like a good kind of alternative. There's heaps of Norvina colors that are similar ish. Like, the Jawbreaker palette's really bright, the Mitchell palette's super bright. So I feel like I don't need it in my collection, although it is great. I'm not saying it's not, it's really good. But just because it doesn't fit in my drawer and I'm being super fussy. So yeah, I've still got space for some more palettes down here. I can move all of these, but I just put them there because they fit right now. Let me show you how they look on a different angle because it's way more satisfying. All right, guys, here's how they all look. Real nice. I don't have anything at the back there. I do have a little spot, but like nothing I put there you can like really see. So I don't want to just like, you know, hide everything. Does it fit? No. The Jaclyn Hill palette is just like so wide, so yeah, nothing really fits next to it that's visible. You can kind of like flick through, so you can see everything really nicely, um, and nothing's like too hidden. I try to like layer them so like nothing's really like super hidden, just so that yeah, when I look in my drawer, I can see everything and hopefully reach for palettes that I don't always reach for. I do feel like most of the time, if I'm just doing like a random makeup look in my everyday life, I use my EXO Beauty. Um, heaps of sweets palette 
which is up on my vanity because I use it all the time. Um, but at least now, like if I do want to reach for something else, all my drawers look really beautiful. Or if I'm doing like a makeup tutorial, you know, I can see all of the options laid out right there in front of me. So yeah, I'm really happy with how they came out. Next up, let me show you a sneak peek. We will be doing all of these items, which are, oops, glitters, pigments, cream eyeshadows. We'll reorganize all of these glitters here. I've got like more, so we need to like put them all in order, which would be really nice to look at. And then I'll probably just do a quick skim over. Like this might be one of my last declutters for a while because I only recently actually did all of my lipsticks and everything. So we'll do a quick skim over. I'll put stuff away. Like you can see I've got some random ones over there. And then all that's really left because the very um, middle drawer is all new stuff, which is definitely quite messy. That's all new skincare. And that's all new makeup for videos. And then down here we have lip glosses and things, which I just recently went through as well. So yeah, the next declutter will be fun. And we will also, whoops, I almost fell over, tie up some loose ends just with some you know, messy drawers. But um, yeah, then we are done for a while. So thank you guys so much for watching. This does not mean to close over once I do this either. That's just a dirty palette from my last video, by the way. Um, that I need to wipe down, but it doesn't mean that the declose will be over after I do these drawers because I constantly am sent stuff, constantly am getting messy, so we'll do another round again. And let me know if you guys want like a complete like room tour makeup collection video once I'm done because I can totally do that as well and just show you how everything's set up and let you know where all my furniture's from and everything. I don't know. Let me know. Bye. Bye.